I guess I can't whistle that well. For a while now, my wife has been wanting to do like a little herb garden in our backyard. And the only problem with that is our backyard isn't really laid out or doesn't really have any kind of space to have a dedicated garden area. Um, we have a pool, pool deck back here. There's a lot of other plantings. So there just isn't really space to have a dedicated garden area. So we thought about, well, let's just do raised planters. Okay, that'll work. But another issue we run into is we live in Vegas. So, you know, if we put a raised planter out in the sun, it's gonna be in the sun all day, just based on how our backyard is laid out. So that could be an issue. So then we thought, well, let's just put a raised planter on wheels. That way we can roll the planter out in the sun during the day or in the morning for a while until it gets too hot and then we can roll it back into the shade of our patio cover here. Okay, that'll work. But then we run into a problem where how many of these roll around planters do we want? You know, it can start to take up a lot of space here on our patio. So I thought, Let's do like a tiered planner. We could have three or four planners in a tiered system that we can roll out in the sun. And then when it gets too hot, roll them into the shade. So that's what I'm gonna be building today. So I'm gonna be building this tiered planner system out of cedar. Um, cedar holds up to the weather real well. It ages real well. And with the way lumber prices are right now, these one by four cedar boards are still relatively priced well. So first thing to do is build the base and get it on some casters. Once I got the, the rolling base done, it's time to build the uprights. So, built it four foot high, and then the front piece angles from the top of the back upright to the front of the base. And that's gonna give me my, my tiered setup for the boxes. And then I also added a couple of corner braces on the back. So once I got the uprights done, I added a shelf here behind the back of the bottom box. And that's just that made out of some scrap particle board I had lying around. That's just for a place to keep like potting soil, fertilizer, stuff like that. Um, so once I got to this point, it was just time to start building the boxes. And that's where I ran into a problem. So I started building this first box and I quickly realized after building the base and these corner pieces that I wasn't gonna have enough cedar. So 
rather than go buy more cedar, I jumped on Facebook Marketplace, found some pallets, and went and picked those up. When I got them home, started breaking them down, and I made the rest of the box out of pallet wood. Once the box was done, I lined the inside with some landscaping fabric, and that's just gonna keep the dirt in while still allowing any excess water to drain out. So, this one's done. Let's uh, build the other two. And there are the other two boxes. Same thing, just broke down the pallets, cut them down to the size I needed, and built some simple boxes. I'm gonna be attaching both the bottom and the top box to the side pieces. I'm gonna leave the middle one removable so that anything that I have stored behind here, I mean, I could get to it from the side, but like, you know, heavier bags of soil, I'm gonna store leftovers back there. It'll just be easier if I can remove this second box to get to those items. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that together. This thing will be done. And there it is. Tiered, rollable, raised planter bed. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell. We'll see you in the next one.